News and the voice of college football here. We are live outside Jack Tri Stadium. You see behind us, this is kind of the uh, southwest corner of the end zone. And so what we're going to do here, we did uh, lower our resolution just a bit. We have some interference, uh, most likely with the many, many signals that are going out in and out of here, out of this parking lot and across um, this entire part of campus. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of walk throughout tailgaters and uh, we can their thoughts on this game. Of course, if you are uh, listening right now, the voice of college football, Mark Rogers, we are uh, thankful for that. We are appreciative of that. We do want to uh, thank everyone who made this possible. First of all, Mark Rogers himself, voice of college football and his main channel. Of course, check out Mark's many different channels. Uh, so many different post games uh, for so many different teams throughout the season, including Iowa post game of the voice of college football. So Go over to Mark's I channel, I subscribe, and of course, after the game today, and after every game for Iowa this season, you'll be able to see myself and Coach Don Patterson, former offensive coordinator at Iowa. Coach Don Patterson, oh, you are, man. We, you're, we're Coach Don Patterson uh, will break down the game and uh, talk a little bit uh, about this game and, and how Iowa performs kind of got a little dead spot here John the, the tailgaters have not showed up yet right here in this area they are packed into other parts John go ahead and pan around give our viewers a, an idea where we're at you'll see the game day set to your to your left John there's the college game day set you see confetti blowing I mean it's a party over there if you didn't catch our streams from earlier today the Iowa State students came out um, in eager this morning and uh, we've got some fans over here let's make our way over to this tailgate party, we got some, uh, this is a split, as I should say, household, friends base. What we got here? Now, what were the four games, Bob? Um, New Mexico in 1973, my brother got married, selfish kid. Why would you do that? Does he not understand priorities? No, he doesn't. It was being very narcissistic of him to do that. And then I had two other weddings, and these brides, they don't get it. They just can't get it. You don't get married on football weekends. Selfish. Yes. And then there was another game. I was coaching football in high school at that time. We got rained out on a Friday night, and I had to miss a game. And I think it was Oklahoma back in 1980. Were you the head coach? Uh, I was. So the, you're saying the team couldn't have played without you on the sidelines? Exactly right. <laughs> All right, so so we've got we've got a couple. You're obviously a big Iowa State, but you you allow some Iowa fans. And your is this your tailgate? Who's that? Oh, this is your tailgate. All right, so why do you allow the in, intrusive uh, Iowa fans to be a part of this? I'm a lifelong Cyclone converter. I'm a religious fanatic when it comes to Cyclone football, <laughs> and I'm always trying to make new converts. To the Iowa State way, and that's how that and the only way to do it is to get them in here and work on them. Well, I'll tell you, Iowa State's wearing all black. You got a, you got some black Iowa, so they don't need much to transfer over. Okay. I haven't missed an Iowa Iowa State game since I've been born. I, this would be my I, I 27th. Pulled out, I pulled out a picture of him when he was a baby, and he was him and his dad, and he was he was in my arms when he was a baby, and I was sitting over here in the, in the stadium. Old. So I'm assuming your wife, I'm assuming your mom did not get, go into labor during a game because you were five months old. Okay. The mom had enough sense to plan it not to be born during. C-section, right? Was it in a C-section? Yeah. Scheduled? Well, you know, it might have been, you know, an early birth too, but <laughs> get it spit out and let's get on with it. We got priorities here. All right. So you've been to how many different Cyhawk games? Is this the biggest Cyhawk game in your lifetime? Uh, I think the one uh, two years ago was, was big, yeah. but when that five-year streak was broken, I took his brother, his older brother, that was back when Dustin Navy, and that's when Iowa State broke that 15-game losing streak. His field, and I took him to the but uh, and, uh, and, and that was... To me, breaking that 15-game losing streak was, was probably the biggest. It was over at Iowa City that year. McCarney was coaching. 
Oh, yeah. So, you know, there's so many different connections with this game between the two teams. Obviously, just besides the fact that they're in-state rivals, you think about Caitlin Clark's brother is on the roster, right? I mean, that's that's a storyline. And, of course, name's high guy at defensive end for Iowa. So, I'm Iowa State guy. What do you see the keys for this? I see Brock versus Goodson. There's so many matchups to watch for, but what do you see as uh, keys to this today? Uh, the running game, both sides. Uh... I think if Iowa State, they, they didn't turn turn uh, um, um, Brees Hall loose last week. It was the slowest output. It, it, it get vanilla, the, vanilla. Very vanilla. And I, I don't know if they were holding back, and but they've been doing that for several years. And they start so damn slow here. Well, uh, I'll just tell you this. I'm an Iowa guy, born and raised, so I'm sorry to all our Story County listeners. I am an Iowa guy, but I'm also a Story County and Ames person. So... Uh, but I'll tell you this, that uh, 2019, I remember that game vividly. Of course, I'm sure you do with the, the rain delays and, and just that mess. Um, Iowa State, got I shouldn't say got away, but they were able to take advantage of Iowa's young cornerbacks in that game. I remember a, a kind of a trick play to is it Michael Petway, the big receiver for Iowa State. And then, of course, a, a bomb to Tariq Milton in that game. So I think playing vanilla week one seems to play in – it seems like Matt Campbell's always got one or two up his sleeve. They'll, they'll get it juiced up here, and uh, I, I expect this to be a, a game probably going to go down to the last two, three minutes, you know, one way or the other. I, 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 don't, I don't see anything else. You know, uh, I, I hope – I'm pretty sure Kohler will be playing today. I think they held him out for just precautions, but they didn't use their tight ends at all. What, one catch last week, that, that'll be a game changer too. When you got – Great tight ends, Chase Allen and, and Kohler. That'll be a big, big difference maker, getting them involved in the game. And not to be tooting the horn for Iowa, but Iowa has a really good tight end in Sam Laporta. So it, you've got a lot of good tight ends, a lot of good backs. Quarterback position is going to be interesting. Can Petrus keep up with, with uh, Purdy? So good to meet you guys. And uh, regardless of who wins, great turnout today and good to meet you guys. So, All right. Yep, take care, guys. We'll continue down the uh, – pathway and see if we can get in touch with some other uh, it's it's great to get the the stories john of the uh the uh story county uh people or uh, even the uh the non-story county people who are here for tailgating today and of course the big game all right all right, we're going to make our way. As you can see, ESPN game day, straight ahead of us. We've got a big crowd of people. We are not able to live stream facing game day. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our cameras pointed in the direction of our walkway because we are going to walk and find more tailgaters. But again, stay with us because uh, along with college game day, we are streaming here all morning. First college game Available on ESPN. As I mentioned before we uh, began our last conversation with Bob and uh, his tailgating crew, Iowa post game at the Hoist of College Football. If you're a Hawkeye fan or a Cyclone fan or any fan of Iowa's opponents this season, tune in to the Voice of College Football, Iowa at the Voice of College Football for a live post game with, again, former offensive coordinator Don Patterson. He'll join us live as well. And of course, Mark Rogers' many other channels of the Voice of College Football. Um, so many different post games, and uh, so many, so, so much content. Um, Mark Rogers doing a terrific job. I want to thank StoryCounty.News, our sidekick today, StoryCounty.News, and Voice at College Football teaming up for this exclusive live stream from around Jack Trice Stadium in Ames in lead up to the Cyhawk game. We also want to thank from the Hawkeye of the Storm, of course, our uh, our own personal. Hawkeye platform, and don't forget the Johnny O Show, our cameraman and our behind-the-scenes video technician, John Orgias. Check out his stuff over at the Johnny O Show on YouTube, on Facebook. You can check out his website as well. And, of course, you can follow if you are uh, local, if you're in Ames or Story County, you can follow storycounty.news on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Go to storycounty.news for the latest from around the county. Making our way to lot S3 here at Jack Trice Stadium. And we're getting into 
kind of the thicker tailgating crowd over here. And of course, we're still early. What this is like? Is it 10 o'clock yet, John? 908. So we got a long, long ways to kick off. We got what six and a half hours, and yet the people have come out here in earnest. This is uh, wonderful to see. Uh, of course, we want everyone to be safe with uh, COVID, but thankfully, this is all happening outdoors. Um, and we are just happy to see fans back. People yelling "Go Hawks!" Here, I can't, I can't disagree. But <laughs> we are trying to be as unbiased as we can here. We'll come over here to the Hawkeye crowd. All right. All right, we got a Hawkeye crowd over here. Who wants to, who wants to tell us what they think of the game today? Hawks all the way. Hawks all the way. Who's the, who's the big performer today? Purdy, Petrus, uh, Goodson? Petrus, Petrus. So he's going to handle the crowd okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice kid. Very mature. Little two girlfriends All right, so <laughs> Iowa, Iowa State, you're already on camera, don't worry. Okay. Iowa, Iowa State today, your thoughts on the big game, thoughts on Petrus, thoughts on Purdy. Where does this matchup fall for you? I love Hawks the guys. Five million. Yep. Hawks. Five million. Go Spencer and go Cody in 73. Woohoo! All right, so did you say you were dating one of these? Yep. You're okay, so you're oh, dating. And he's not playing today? Yeah, he's not playing. How's he doing? How's his recovery? Good. Should be back next week. Should be back next week. You heard it here, Voice of College Football. <laughs> Kyler Schott will be back next week. <laughs> Kirk Ferentz, eh, he might not be happy with this. That's good. That's good news, though. And, and, yeah, and I would say if he needs an extra week, they probably can afford it next week. Yes, we have the depth finally in the O-line this year, whereas two years ago when he broke so we didn't quite have it. So. So, did you guys know each other prior to your relationship? Is, that would be a weird coincidence. You start dating two starting guards for Iowa. So uh, Cody's in it. He's got to stay healthy. I mean, this line is relying on him and Tyler Linderbaum to anchor things. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'd say the same. Uh, foot massages after every game at home. <laughs> All right. Well, it was good to meet you guys, and uh, we'll hold you. There's a future lineman over there. Okay. Let's, let's talk to the future lineman here. What's your name, young fella? What's your name? That's all right. Well, you, he's got a spokesman here. Yeah. So let's talk to you for a minute. So you were an Iowa State fan. We just talked to a bunch of Iowa fans. We, we, we talked to uh, a couple of young ladies who are in relationships with uh, a couple of the Iowa linemen. We met them over here. Okay. So your keys to the game today, who's your big performer? Is it going to be Purdy? Is it going to be Hall? Uh, what do you see today? We Hall. We got Kohler back. So we're, we're just doing our best. So. How big can Kohler be today? I mean, he not playing last week hurt Iowa State. But I think it's going to make a difference, get uh, double coverage off of uh, Hall. So we're, we're out for a victory, right? And, and this young man's name is Oliver. Oliver. And he's a future lineman. And I'm assuming he's going to pick Iowa State. I mean, he's already – it looks like we've got some NCAA infractions because he's already got all this gear. So he got the build, too. He got the build. So, all right. It's too early in the day. You know, it is early. People think I've been—we've been out here since like 5 a.m., but it's still only like 10 o'clock. I know it's crazy. You guys start early. Oh yeah. I admire it. But this is a great game, so we're excited. We're hoping for a victory. Great moment for college football. Absolutely. Two ranked teams in the state of Iowa. It's awesome. Great for the state of Iowa. Good to meet you. Thank you so much. Go side. All right. All right. So we'll continue to to make our way around. We don't want to seem biased here. We'll turn take a left here, John. We don't want to seem biased here. We want to get we want to get uh, opinions from both sides. But that was interesting to, to talk to uh, the girlfriend of Kyler Schott. So <laughs> I I've never reported on anything, John, about a player's injury status based on what his girlfriend told us at a tailgate. But we yeah we just got an update on Kyler Schott. It sounds like he's going to be back next week. So <laughs> for anybody who was wondering. Uh, it looks like Kyler Schott will be back, and Cody Ince, as we talk to uh, his girlfriend, he's a big part of this offensive line, one of the, you can call him veterans. He's a young guy, but he's still a veteran with a lot of younger guys, Connor Colby, David Davidkov, um, Michael Mislinski, so many different guys. Got some good well wishes here, so 
walking down the line of the Iowa State tailgaters. This is a, an impressive scene. They know how to do it right in all of Iowa, but certainly in Ames as well. Turn the camera around here. We got Mr. Jeff May is here holding a Coors Light. I love it. I love it. How's it going? Hey, you're in Ames, man. This is this is foreign territory. Are you uh, are you? I don't know you. Are, are you a Cy, Cy Hawk game guy? Or are you typically go to Iowa State games? Uh, this is my second time. I went a couple years ago. So yep, it was a good time, especially since you know Iowa won. Yeah, uh, this is going to be an interesting game. We've been talking with some of the tailgaters here this morning. Um, keys to this game. I mean, can Petrus hold up against a tough crowd? He's never played in front of an, uh, an opposing crowd, and this last week was the first time in front of any crowd. I think as long as he doesn't make any mistakes like he did last week, the defense will, I think it's going to pull us through really well. Special teams, I think uh, uh, Goodson is just going to have a good day. He's going to have 150 yards, and he's going to have a good day. 150 yards. Yep. He's going to, he's going to, they're, they're going to let him run loose. All right, well, he's going to have to do it a little bit more consistently. Of course, last week, the 56-yard run, but I think only 40, like five other yards in that game. So, uh, but uh, good to see you, Jeff. Uh, Jeff's a good friend of ours and uh, kind of, <laughs> we've had lots. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> this, is, this is enjoyable. Good to see you, Jeff. All right, go Hawks, right? All right. Or go clones, whatever you prefer. Now we've got lots of, uh, Lots of excited fans this morning. That's great. Again, I keep saying that, but it is great to see because, of course, last year we didn't get to see fans out here. So, and I think, John, I, I think I want to make something clear. People see this, these shirts of ours, and I think they believe, as we let's get out the pathway here, I think people believe that these are Hawkeye shirts. They're not. <laughs> these, are our, these are our StoryCounty.News shirts. So I want to make that clear. And uh, we got someone else asking, what's that? Did you want to say something? Oh, we've got some bashful Iowa State. We've been talking to a lot of Iowa fans. We need someone to speak for Iowa State. What you got to say this morning? Excited for the game? What you got in the tailgate today? You got brachi. I see a crock pot. What you got in the crock pot this morning? <laughs> All right. Anything else meat wise? Yeah. Meat wise, you got meat here. Hamburgers. <laughs> <The typical. laughs> hey, I love the energy, guys. Keep up the good energy. We need it, right? We need it in Iowa. So, all right. Take care. Enjoy the game. All right. I know, but I don't think it's. All right. John, we haven't even scratched the surface of the tailgaters at this game right now. So. <laughs> Yep, we're going to do a quick audio check. We'll uh, check our live chat right now. Is there anybody in the live chat who is uh, watching us? Yep, we're going to check through our YouTube channel. And, of course, uh, again, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to The Voice of College Football and to Iowa at The Voice of College Football. Switching 
All right, so we're just checking a couple uh, technical things here, folks. We are wanting to make sure that our stream is working well. The uh, signal here, we've, uh, of course, we have a lot of equipment. Our cameraman, John, has uh, equipment at strapped to him at all different angles, and so we're just making sure that we're good to go. Looks like we are. And again, we apologize if the stream is not the highest of quality. We are trying to uh, do the best we can. As anybody in Course College Game Day even made the media aware of that yesterday, that live streaming during their show can even throw their signal off. So um, we are, looks like we're good to go. And we're going to continue to walk across the uh, entire landscape of Jack Tri Stadium around the stadium and in the tailgating areas. So we'll continue down the, the pathway here. Again, if you're listening and you are uh, wondering when the game is, it's at 3.30 p.m. Central Time on ABC, 3.30 p.m. Central Time, Iowa and Iowa State, of course, a top 10 matchup, nine versus 10 on ABC. Um, should be a great, great game. And win or lose, we'll be talking about it afterwards, the voice of college football. So. 